Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. Three cards. So your energy is four of swords, two of swords, nine of wands, Six of Wands, kinda interesting, you can be the warrior. Your person's energy is Hanged Man, Knight of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, Meeting Energies, Judgment, Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. There can be an apology, a new chance in the Love Arena, let's be honest and real about it. Our focus, Ace of Pentacles, let's talk about an apology and a big offer. King of Swords, match for the Queen. Um, guys, you know each other extremely well. But is it possible to work things out in this connection? You know, it can be questionable. And you can take some time to think about the opportunity. Um, your person is willing to embrace a standby, the hanged man, but it's like they want to get things going with the magician. Um, if for whatever reason the connection between the two of you didn't work in the past and so you are disappointed, the wounded warrior, this new chance following the judgment, uh, you know, might not be a real opportunity. Magic prayer. Strength. Golden palace, what this person wants to manifest, that's for sure. Protecting treasure. This is like a four of pentacles, two of swords posture, guys, and it's not in favor of the opportunity to open up. The conversation can be super honest, uh, this is fair to say, king of swords, queen of swords, the two of you can be extremely smart and intelligent, but it's like, thanks to the Four of Swords, you have all the clarity that you need about the connection. This person seems to look at the situation from a completely different perspective. That's why they are willing to make you even multiple offers in order to convince you guys that they can be the one for you. Uh, you know, you have a voice about that. And if you do not agree, Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Not the best energy, guys. The chaser. This is the chaser, guys. This person is chasing you. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment, issue. Mirror, bottom of the deck, mirroring each other, self-image, Relationships reflect our wounds. The Nine of Wands, Four of Swords combination. Introspection. So, guys, mm, you have been together. For you, the connection was a disappointment. The Six of Wands should be an encouragement. If you know deep within that this connection is not the one that you want, uh, you have to leave the battlefield behind. And so it means that you have to leave this person behind even if they can try multiple approaches in order to convince you guys that this is the connection for you, they can even say to you that you are their empress. Thank you for the flattering words, but you have already demonstrated um, that you are not a fair companion for me. This is what some of you can say uh, to this person. So the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles combination of energy is remarkable. Uh, just like the Two of Cups energy. It seems opportunistic, you know, coming from this person. Because maybe they were not available to share it before. Now, all of a sudden, everything is possible. Why? Why everything is possible now? 
if it wasn't possible before and if because of that I have experienced uh, nine of ones energies there is something that is not quite right guys and the girl with a snake oracle card makes the point so um, let's see let's see the knight of cups magician combination guys the magician for me is the one with the higher vision so he can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything that's why he can manifest a lot of things you know in this case what this person is um kind of picturing in their mind can be something completely different from what you are thinking about um, when it comes to the connection so we have a problem how can we manifest something positive if the vision is not in common who is going to win because someone in a situation like this one someone uh, is going to prevail over the other one uh, if we decide to stay together Nine of Swords, they can freak out a little bit because they can be smart enough to understand that um, you are not buying what they are offering you. This is important. Page of Pentacles. Uh, small token, guys, mm, it can work as an apology, especially if things uh, didn't work uh, before between the two of you. Then, due diligence. This is a smart person as smart as you can be and because they know you they can truly try to work an angle the empath and the narcissist paradigm keyword uh, should be uh, taken seriously three of cups tricky energy if we think about a third party situation let's mention it but this person wants to be with you they want to rekindle your connection they can hope that memories can play in their favor i am not so sure that uh, this is the case let's see your point of view um, let's go for the two warriors nine of ones six of ones because your defenses can be up for protection for justified and good reasons maybe you do not trust this person anymore and this is a deal breaker guys because there is trust in the ace of pentacles but if you do not trust this person it's impossible to share this energy nine of pentacles you are in a good position and if the two of you broke up, you are single and fine with it. You can also be aware of the fact that this person is not the fair companion for you. If you are in a standby of the connection in order to decide what to do, this is um, your main idea. You are thinking about the opportunity to move on. Even if this person can bring the Ace of Pentacles to you, you know? Six of Wands again another encouragement guys leave the battlefield behind if you know that this is not the connection for you seven of swords we cannot trust this person you can smell troubles guys lies betrayals deceits this is the deal breaker this is the deal breaker truly the the type of energy that can undermine the foundations of a connection especially if um, a person is guided by the Queen of Cups energy, so the ability to recognize if the intentions in favor of a connection can truly be genuine and sincere so that we can be successful. You can smell troubles. You can embrace a conversation, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, but it's just a, a way of handling the situation in order to put a closing point on it so guys let's go for the queen of swords in the meeting because the queen is a brilliant mind she can swing the ace with grace and comfort and what she has to say can also be something that another person might not desire to hear it seems this case here we go three of pentacles and the star 
The Tree of Pentacles is an energy about openness, guys. The chance to work together in order to build solid foundations. The Star is an energy about a wish granted. Beautiful, yes, but in this case, you can make clear to this person that if you do not trust them, it's impossible to find a wish in the Love Arena. So, it's not possible to grow together following the Two of Cups with this person along the journey. They can make you one last offer, but the final decision doesn't seem to be in favor of it. We see the Emperor, bottom of the smaller deck, much for the Empress, on paper, absolutely. In this case, guys, it seems that this person already had their chance with you, uh, they couldn't make the best out of it, now they are going to pay a price for that because of the deal breaker. The Seven of Swords. So, you can be aware of the fact that you can find better following the star if there is no trust, no honesty, no transparency in favor of this connection because you cannot uh, find these virtues in this person. It's impossible to build the partnership in the proper way and for this very reason it's impossible to share the Ace of Pentacles in order to go the distance towards a Golden Palace type of scenario. It is what it is, guys. Um, this person will have to embrace an outcome that is completely different from the one that um, they are hoping for. They can beg you guys to give them another chance, but the judgment call, the final decision about this connection, um, is going to be something that will allow you to leave the battlefield behind. And it's gonna be a well thought of decision thanks to the Four of Swords and also thanks to the ability of the Lady in the Two of Swords to dive deeper within the Moon energy which can be about the unknown. So we come back to the Seven of Swords. This person has done something or has done multiple things along the connection that now can work as red flags. And some of you can be uh, smart and honest enough to uh, take notice of all of them in order to make the best possible decision for you. There is no space for this person anymore in your life, it seems, and you can be more than happy to move on. So, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.